Hello, this is Carrie from Woodenville Wine Blog. And today I'm at the Winemakers Reserve in Woodenville. It's a little bit cloudy and windy, but I don't mind because it's going to be really hot all week and I'm perfectly comfortable under this new tent that they have set out to create a new patio space in the parking lot. Because as of yesterday, the governor shut down the insides of tasting rooms and bars, whether or not they serve food. So we have to do our tastings outside. So pray for good weather. But this is a beautiful setup. It's comfortable out here. I am previewing this new cheese and nut and fruit plate that they're going to be offering tasters to purchase. When you make your reservation at the Winemakers Reserve on their website, you'll be able to add on a cheese plate if you think you might be a little nibbly when you get here. Now, one of the things I really like about Winemakers Reserve is they have over 50 winemakers in the building and you never quite know what they're going to pour on their tasting menu. Today I'm drinking or tasting wine from Finn Hill in Artisan Hill in Woodenville. I'm going to be tasting an L3 by Lori Larson and I'm going to be tasting two Matteo wines which are incredibly limited quantities less than 144 cases if I remember correctly. This is probably my only chance to taste it and a lot of these wines you will not find in stores so you do have to buy them at the tasting room. And I've started with the Finn Hill Blondie, Rosé of Sangiovese from Candy Mountain Vineyard. This is their last year at Candy Mountain Vineyard. The 2019 will be from Elephant Vineyard, if I said that right, if I remembered. And I'm moving on to the Par Excellence, which is a Columbia Valley white wine that is heavily Semillon dominant with a little splash or two or three of Chardonnay in there. I like that because I'm not a big Chardonnay fan and this has been aged in stainless so I'm probably going to love this. This is the Winemakers Reserve and if you're curious you can check them out on Facebook and Instagram and go to their website winemakersreserve.com. At Disclosure they have comped my tasting because they wanted me to come out here and show you your options and I haven't been out here since January so I'm very glad to be back and check out their patio. I'm a huge fan of being outside, even though I'm not outdoorsy. I like to be outside, and I'm glad they have this new patio in their parking lot. If you have trouble finding Winemakers Reserve like I did today because my <coughs> GPS is horrible, it's just behind Black Raven Brewing Company. Thanks for watching.